Dead Quinn Fuss, a new open world free to play MMORPG that was under a lot of fire and controversy earlier this year. People were saying, yo, is this even a real game? Uh, but now they're actually having their beta, closed beta, in June this year so i got uh, access to the beta so i'll be playing it in june there's been a lot of new things coming out of the quinfall after the last fiasco and a lot of controversy but let's jump into it and check out if the quinfall is a real game and if it is a good mmorpg so they released some videos actually showing gameplay this time because there was a lot of rumors about this game not being a real game that was because uh, after doing some digging i made a couple of videos on the two uh it showed that the quinfall was mainly made from assets bought assets they bought assets from the engine they just put it into the game and meshed it together and the early promotion days of this game it was all about uh, this is going to be the biggest MMORPG ever when it comes to map size. Uh, so there was, a, and there was like no gameplay footage at all of the game. Uh, so people were not really excited and hyped about the game. And it came out the, uh, a lot of controversy about the game not even being a real thing in the first place. But this is the world that they're showing in this video. Now I have to say from the first trailers, this, is de this definitely doesn't look as good as the first trailers that they showed. But it is actual a game. Uh... It seems to have a little bit of towns. The UI, you can already tell, is really outdated. Uh, and it is a bought asset. It's of, uh, somebody went through it and showed like it bought, used the uh, engine assets. So the UI, everything is bought with assets. But uh, in return, that basically means that they are able to develop an MMORPG much faster. They use a lot of AI to lose um, a lot of assets. Uh, with of course a little bit of development but overall what i'm seeing here is uh, the movement and stuff looks very clunky overall the world isn't that amazing looking like i first expected it to be but it seems to be an actual game at least when i play the beta i'll kind of find more uh, a little bit more about it uh, right now they're just showing running i wish they showed a little bit of combat uh, but there's no combat uh, shown in this game uh, but the world overall i mean looks like a ordinary mmorpg right there's nothing crazy nothing really unique and it's just showing like villages and stuff what i'm really intrigued to see is the actual open world because as they said it's going to be the biggest mmorpg world we have ever seen and what that makes me believe is even though it has a lot of these villages which looks uh, decent uh what about the rest of the open world i was going to be like copy pasted ads they're going to spawn underneath the map and stuff uh, like how is it going to look, what is it going to be like. I feel like it's going to be a lot of empty spaces that uh, will have nothing in them. Uh, but I think they're not showing that because why would they show empty spaces in their trailer, right? But overall, uh, it does seem like it's going to be an actual game though. Uh, they're, I mean, from what, they see, uh, what they're showing, they're not showing any like interactions so far. We have more trailers and stuff to look through, but I just want to see like the world overall, the cities stuff, it, it, it looks okay. All right, let's see the next one. The Caravan System and Mounts. So this game will have mounts, so it won't only be sprinting. So you have a donkey for rent, ox for rent, and elephant for rent. So and it says buy package up there and sell package. What is this? Buy package, silk fabric. Okay. Is this, can you teleport with the, the coins it seems like? So this is the world, and the world is massive, you can tell, bro. This is a massive map. Oh, a different map, too. The snow map. Cell package. Okay, are we gonna see you actually ride the one, please? So The UI, I, can't, I don't like the UI at all. It does not look good. It looks very outdated. But hey. Okay, we got mounts, camels, I want to see the mount movement, can we see a little bit of movement? So you can like use the mounts to travel with packages I guess, to transport them. But the movement though, okay this looks, this does not look good. What is this animation? Yeah, that's that's bad. It looks so stiff. Well, the game isn't out yet, so hopefully they will like, 
you know, polish this a little bit more. But overall, the mount stuff. Let me see. He gets half the mount. How does that look? <laughs> you can clearly tell that this is bot assets, right? And they haven't done a lot of like changes and development to the bot assets here. It's very stiff movement. The animations are clunky. Uh, okay. I don't think this. What is this? Okay, some chests. All right, that was the caravan. Okay, these are the pets I'm out. That was the caravan system. So I have a little pet. Okay, pets look cool. Do they give any stats though? Yeah, I can have a little flying pet. Uh, I kind of want to look at the mounts and not the pets. We have... Okay, a little bit of combat. Wait, wait, wait. They're actually showing some combat here. Okay, you can see the character is lagging. The skill system looks cool though. What is this? You can have up to 10 skills. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't terrible. That looked good. They definitely got a little bit better with the animations because before it was super slow animations. Unless this video is sped up. Okay, not bad, not bad. The skills doesn't look terrible. I don't know how they'll feel in game though. Okay. But does the pet fight with you? Is that what you're trying to show? Okay, a little bit more combat. Aim? Actual action, action combat? Ooh. Not tap target for the bow. But I mean, the animation looks... With the bow looks horrendous and super slow. But it's actually aim. So you can actually aim your, uh, your skills. Action combat style. It's not tap target. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this does not look good. I, what is this? Bro, I'm playing a mobile game. Okay, that that they they need to redo that. The spear look okay. The bow, oh wow. Okay, let's see. Are we gonna show? Us? Okay, here we go. A little bit of mount. You can evolve the pets. This is the UI. He has some legendary pets in here. You can evolve your pets to make them stronger. They can get exp. It's like. Pokemon. You can level up your pets and stuff. Where's the mounts though? Okay. You can capture mounts in the open. Whoa, this is big. This is good. This is good. I like that. I like that. Oh my god. You can actually catch mounts. Oh, I hope they had... I hope they add a lot of mounts, man. A lot of different mounts. Not even, I hope they have like lions, deers, maybe dragons in the future that you can catch. I love catching mount features. Catching mounts are is an amazing feature to have in a game. It's good. I like this. All right, and then this is just a story time of the Queenfall. I mean, we already know this game is gonna have a massive world. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. From what I've seen so far, the game is definitely a real game. Is it a high quality game? I don't think so. Is it going to be a high quality MMORPG? I don't think. I think it's going to be a massive world to explore with a lot of the same stuff. The animations are not good when it comes to the combat or anything. They definitely have to put in a lot of more. Like I'm being honest guys here. Okay. I'm not going to glaze the game, but I'm going to give credit where the credit is due. Uh, at the end of the day, it's actually going to be an MMORPG you can play. I'm going to be seeing how how it feels after the beta, of course. We'll do like a beta review, everything. But from what I'm seeing so far, it's going to be a massive world. The towns doesn't look bad. Uh, it does have a lot of cool features like mount catching and stuff. But the animations are not good. The UI is not good. Uh, especially when it comes to certain uh, weapons like the bow. Even though I love like the action combat aspect of it, they can aim. It does not look good. It looks super slow, super clunky. It needs a lot more polishing. Uh, even if they release this game this year, it's not going to be ready. Uh, I, I see this game having a lot of potential with the massive open world. But overall, the interactions, the world, it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, something that people will play for a long time. Uh, but uh, the Quinfall... June is the beta. I don't think you can sign. I think maybe if you go to Discord, you can still sign up for the closed beta. Uh, but I'll be playing it. I'll do some streams on the closed beta too, so you guys can see what the game is all about. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy 
at the same time not because uh, at least it's going to be a game is from what it seems like because first i was talking about this because the first beta was under nda and i was like is there even a game at all why are they hiding everything if they are actually having a beta right but now they're going to have an open beta to show some gameplay great the gameplay doesn't look like what they showed in the trailer uh but it is actually going to be a game it's going to be any good i doubt it but you never know you get surprised all the time you know when it comes to uh mmorpgs but let me know what you guys think about the coin fall are you going to be checking out the coin fall i'm definitely going to be playing it uh i might get pleasantly surprised uh but from what i'm seeing so far it's not a game that people can enjoy for a long time especially with all the clunkiness uh to everything and uh i think that they're not going to have enough content on release even though they have a massive world so people will be ending up running in like a open dead space for a long time but you never know we're going to be checking it out in june there's no complete date yet uh but i'll update you guys when we know more but thank you guys so much for watching take it easy check out this video right here and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye